So does this golfer look familiar to you? So many golfers out there just struggle to get through the golf ball, get stuck on that back leg. It rarely ends well. We often hit the ball too high. We struggle to strike the ball well, and it just doesn't feel particularly good on the golf course. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you some key points on what you can do next time you play to make sure that you get through the golf ball much, much better and get that beautiful looking professional style finish. So we don't tend to see many pros finishing their golf shots on their back foot falling away from the target. And there's a reason for that because it's very difficult to play the game well if that is your style and that is your pattern. But many of you watching this will have that as an issue. You know, you often find that you get stuck on that back foot and you'd love to get through the golf ball better. We're gonna fix that for you in this video and give you some key points that you can work on next time you play. Just before we do, I just wanna bring your attention to my website. It's a brand new website launched this year. Uh, there are some training series on there which I'd love you to head over and take a look at. Uh, there's a series on there to help you increase your club head speed. And there's also a really in-depth series in there to help with your ball striking. So depending on what you want, you might want both. I'd love you to head over there, check them out. Uh, I really believe they're gonna help you because they are a step-by-step -step process on what you can do during practice to really elevate your game. So link up in the corner, link in the description box for that as well. So how do we get through the golf ball? Well, I'm pretty sure we all know what a great finished position looks like. You know, the weight is on that lead side, the body's facing the target. We should look in balance and the hands and the club should be somewhere up behind your neck. But it's not easy to get there and, and you may well know what that finished position looks like, but you often find yourself getting stuck on this kind of back leg. So we're gonna cover four points here, three kind of swing points and then number four is just a quite simple one that you can take to the golf course. So the first thing would be, we're gonna create a situation where we're allowed to get through the golf ball. And that really comes down to what we do with our lead leg and lead foot at address. So if I set up to this ball, and we just take a look at that lead foot, the more I turn my foot in towards the golf ball, the more I limit my ability to rotate into that hip. So from here, if I turn that foot in extremely, even if I had the ability to get through onto that left side, I'm gonna find it very difficult. Turning the left foot in almost acts as like a blocker to your rotation. So from here, I've only got one option, which is to kind of stay on that back foot. And again, that's that finished position that we are potentially all too familiar with, but we don't really want. So the first little point would be to make sure that your lead foot is rotated out by some amount towards the target. I say some amount because it's gonna be a little bit of a kind of you figuring out exactly how much you need. If you're someone who's a little bit less flexible, you might need a little bit more rotation than someone who's got more flexibility. So we kind of need to have a little bit of an experiment with that, but you'll notice here how my foot is flared out. That allows me then to rotate through and I feel fairly comfortable I can get to this end position. And this will be a great way for you to start that. If I put my foot pretty square, I kind of feel like I get blocked off around about here. So you can just do this wherever you're watching this video, just stand up and just position your foot differently and see when you get to that point where you've got that nice kind of rotation. So I know for me, a little bit of foot flare is gonna really help me get through the golf ball. And then from there, I can just turn through onto that lead side. So that is the first point, making sure that we are giving our body the greatest chance to turn through. Now, the second point would be all about when we actually move the weight onto that lead side you know we know it needs to finish there but what we would tend to see from the best players would be that they tend to move their weight onto their lead side very early into the downswing it's not something we always see from the amateur game very often as the golf swing completes or the back swing I should say completes the pressure builds into this right side and as the downswing starts it stays there doesn't mean it's going to stay there forever but there's a very very good chance that it will if as you start down it's still on that trail foot you've almost kind of missed that opportunity to move that weight forwards so what i'd actually love you to do and this will certainly take a little bit of practice and you'll notice i've teed the ball up here i'd love you to start thinking a little bit about moving the weight towards a target before the golf club finishes the backswing and i've spoken about this before we don't have a backswing and a downswing the club moves away from the ball we have what we call a transition which is what we're talking about here and we have sort of a downswing and impact so as i'm moving that golf club away from the target i sort of want to feel around about here i'm beginning to move my weight onto my lead side and you know we can measure this and we see this from all the best players in the world it really helps them get onto that lead side early it really helps them with their strike and it helps them as we're 
discussing in this video, kind of get through the golf ball better and have that nice balanced finish. So some little practice swings and just feeling like as the club is finishing, you're already starting to think about moving your weight onto that lead side. Now, what we're trying to do here is quite easy in terms of understanding the concept. The timing, that's something else, because as you can imagine, I certainly don't want to be doing that far too early, but equally far too late, it's quite difficult. So the timing element will certainly take a bit of practice, but you know, grab a golf club and just have some swings without a ball and just get that sensation of moving the weight onto that lead leg nice and early. As I do that, I'm gonna do this at a slightly slower speed. It's certainly going to help me as I start to feel like I finish more on my lead side and I get through that shot a little bit better. So moving the pressure of the weight early, absolutely key to helping you finish on your lead side much better. Point number three is all about what your head is doing. So far, the first two points have given us a great opportunity to have the pro style finish. If you're someone who is still under the impression that you're gonna play better golf because you keep your head down, you may or not get your weight onto your front side. Simple little experiment. Take a golf club, place it across your shoulders, take your posture, keep looking at the ball, and just see how much you can rotate your shoulders towards the target. And you'll notice that at this point here, I'm pretty stuck. As I start to rotate my head to look at the target, I'm able to rotate my shoulders more. So the more that my head rotates, the more it frees my shoulders up to turn towards the target. The key point here is notice my head is rotating, it's not lifting. We're not suggesting you lift your head because that will almost end up in a poor strike, but allowing that head to just very simply feel like it follows the flight of the ball. As soon as you feel like you've struck the golf ball, allow your head to watch the flight and that's gonna help you rotate through. Those golfers who are trying to keep the head down are gonna find it really difficult to get through the golf shot. And those are the golfers often who find that the arms crumple, doesn't feel particularly good, doesn't feel particularly tall and extended at the finish, which is what we're looking for. So again, I would have you do this relatively slow speed, but as soon as I've hit that ball, I wanna follow the flight with my head. Allows me to rotate a little bit fuller, allows me to get that nice full finish that we're all after. Now those are the three kind of key swing points. Those are the things that are really gonna help you finish on that lead side. The final one, and this is something you can take straight to the golf course, is just build a picture in your mind. As I'm walking into this shot and I'm setting up, I just wanna have a really clear picture of what does the end position look like? Because if we're walking into the shot with this visual of what it looks like, we're more likely to get there. And so it's something which is quite simple, um, but very often, you know, on the golf course, having a thought is really helpful, but it has to be quite simple. So when I'm setting up to this, I've just got this really nice visual in my mind of what a really nice end position would look like. And then I can just work on moving from start to that position. There's my really nice full finish. I managed to get through that golf ball, quite a sizable divot, but it was ball then turf. And on the golf course, that's absolutely fine. That's exactly what I want to do. So, are you someone who feels like you get stuck on that back foot? It is so common and very often it doesn't tend to happen when we practice, but it does tend to happen on the course. And there's a, a reason why, and we can talk, we can discuss that a little bit in future videos in terms of the mental side of things, but the things that we're covered in this video are really gonna help you, I think, take the next steps to getting that nice full finish. Thanks for watching, use your stuff down below, like button down there. There is a comments box, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. And over there, that's the subscribe button. We'd love you to be part of the channel. New videos coming each and every week. I really believe the information, the drills, and um, the way we talk about the golfing here can really help you play some better golf. And I'd love you to be part of the channel and come along for the journey. Thanks for watching.